Marion will pipe up quite abruptly and fluent Sylvan, by the way, and says, you take fate by the balls <laughs> and you hang on. <laughs> Consider that marrying Merci. Um, <laughs> just like honestly taken aback. Like, that's one way to put things. That's... <laughs> um, A Socrates of filth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> when, when I was told to come here, it was for. It was just to work, to help out, to. to learn. Because I spend so much time alone um, in nowhere that they wanted me to practice and to help help anyone that I came across and this this was good this was there were many people in uh, at the festival who were getting hurt and beat up and stabbed in Tusa. Um, alors, mon père, he told me that this would be good, but I don't think he knew this would happen. I don't even know that they don't know. to them hmm? send them word that you're safe I don't know if I want to scare them but oh, yeah. they probably they probably would have heard about the events Well, you don't um, have to mention everything, just that you're all right. <laughs> you made it to the city. Right. And also, I'm Good pretty time. sure we're not allowed to talk about what didn't happen. Exactly. <sighs> Something tells me that if I don't tell them, someone else will. A, that's might even be Kalamvar. I think they'd find out. Would we get in, would you get in trouble if you told them in a letter? No, I don't know if the letter is safe. It could be someone can take it. I don't know that it would get there. How about we, safely. how about we tie that bull when we get to it? Pin it. Me. Always keeping us on track. <laughs> See um, you. Who would like a talk? Oh, Luna I... holds out their glass to Arlen. No, and I like it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Intercept the bottle. Get some water. <laughs> And I, uh, I, well, I guess I would intercept the I bottle. Pull out, I pull out my water skin the second you ask that, oh. Luna. You and actually I see at this cool. point, there is a glass of water that is floating towards you as an invisible servant is uh, hand, hands you a glass of water, Luna. Whoa. Man, thank you. Thank, thank you. You just feel like a brisk, like, 
as it goes past you. It's really it's crazy. I, t- I, I, I intercepted the. Oh, sorry. Go am ahead. I dr- am I am I drunk or do we all see that? I saw it. Yeah. No, no it's, saw it's, it. it's yeah, it's real. That all happened. Right. All right. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Since I took actually, the no, no, you are drunk. <laughs> so, so both. Ooh, she makes jokes. That was clever. I like it. Since I, I intercept the bottle from Luna, I take it over to Andy and I hold the bottom out to her and I go, Your turn. All right. I take it's it. A good boyfriend. I mm-hmm. swear to God. Yes. <laughs> Which one? I <laughs> take. <laughs> I take the bottle and I put it down. I don't take a drink. I just put it down. Um, And I retake out my lyre and um, I just start, I'm just fiddling with it while I'm talking. Um, Well, I'm Andy, Andy Monatis. Um, I am from Prostock, uh, Sylvan Empire. Uh, Grew up with this knucklehead over here, dragony knucklehead, I suppose. Yeah, uh, weird. Um, I... Well, um, so, um, I lost my parents at a young age. I was raised by my aunt. Um, I have a cousin named Kirian. I am a student at Kavan Academy. I am here on a bit of a... I don't know, a year abroad, kind of, um, even though it's not abroad. Um, yeah, of, of practical study. Um, uh, yeah. And I can't get this one thing out of my head that Master Sinran uh, told us. Um, all the architects of fate working in the walls of time. It's just in my head and I can't... I don't know. A, I felt like it was apropos, but um, poetry is not my best subject, to be honest. I think there's more of it, but I don't actually remember. Um, yeah, I play the lyre, and she holds up her lyre that she's playing. Um, and yeah, I came across a waka on the way, and um, oh, that, love. and I'm single. It's beautiful. I am very single. Could not underline that mm-hmm. more that she is single. <laughs> very single. Yeah, it's very single. Very. The single. more you fight this, yeah. the more <laughs> I know that it's no, uh, no, no, no. But 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 really no. Um, very very single. Um. Um. But yeah. Um. I guess that's me. Um. Grab the bottle from her. My name is Finn Monahan, and before I say too much more, I want to know: the fuck do you actually have against me, Waka? Mm. We go in there. I crack my neck, and you audibly hear like, <laughs> "Not really, you." It's uh that symbol you're wearing overall uniform kind of look you see I've dealt with men in that uniform before I've seen what men in that uniform can do and what they call the destiny that TM that um, Bahamut provides and uh, so has my people don't think I didn't hear you call me bird boy I think you know who the Yamamankwen are. And how many people that are wearing this uniform do you see around here? Have you seen in these situations? <sighs> Tell you the truth, I don't really see y'all beyond the Westlands. You rarely venture out of there, but uh, from the ones that I've interacted with, they've either been assholes, liars, or heretics. And I could see where you're coming from. You understand that 
I come over here to a situation like this, it's not lightly. I came out here because I've been looking for a way to get out. Get out of the wing of the hollowed, at least. You think that you've seen things, and you think that you know and understand things that have gone on there. I've seen things that could make the skin crawl off of almost everybody in this room, and probably a lot of the people that are over in that other room as envoys. I'm here and I still have my powers because I genuinely believe in Bahamut and I genuinely believe in what Bahamut stands for. But throughout my times, and I realize I'm young, but I spent my entire life in the Platinum Palladium. All I've known is that entire side of life and there hits a certain point in time when If you actually open up your eyes, you can see and understand what's wrong with the situations and what's wrong with the way they go about things. There's nothing wrong with Bahamut and my faith. I'll agree with you that there's probably something wrong with a lot of the tactics that have gone on a lot of the things that the Hollowed have done. <laughs> but you know what? Can I ask you? Sorry. It's okay. I I still wear this uniform when I go out because it allows me into places that I don't necessarily am able to get into. There's a level of respect that comes along with it. Mary's oh. never seen me in this uniform and she's met me several times. Yeah. Yeah. She had no, no idea. She had no idea what I did for a living. She had no idea what what I followed. She knows better of who I am than the people that I served with. You see, you use that word respect a lot of the time that you just... But in my experience, it's not respect that gives that symbol and that uniform access, it's fear. See, I know followers of Bahumet who are not like the Hallowed, and, you know, they don't necessarily have as dogmatic of a belief system in the Platinum Dragon as most do. You see, I can... I don't know the inner machinations of what heavenly, dragonly beings who created the Earth have plans for us, but something tells me they got a lot more on their fucking plates than worrying about everybody down here. And that's why they put people like me on the planet. <laughs> to be able to uphold that those tenets of justice. To be able to uphold the tenets of being able to show compassion. All of the good things that Bahamut teaches is exactly what people like me are supposed to be standing here on this planet for. Yes, but the uniform stands for oppression across this land. And you know that. You said that. All of a sudden, um, Finn, you hear in your mind, is it compassion to capture and persecute warlocks and sorcerers? And out loud, I... No, it's not. And that's why I wanted to get away. To get away from that. And you know what? When I run out and when I see a flyer for a guild of adventurers that may be my ticket out, yeah, I pack up with the things that are on my back and the few things that I have. And if this armor and if this uniform is what I have... It's what I'm going to continue to wear to protect myself to make sure I can continue to uphold Bahamut's tenants. Mike, um, can I do an insight check? Can I also Absolutely. insight check? Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> Natural 20. Oh, shit. Um, 21. For a, 20, for a 22. Natural 20 for a 22. Bahamut wouldn't be stoked if I was lying. So you see a walk of like kind of 
like kind of mug up to you and like like look at you from the side so one eye is looking directly at you and just stares at you for a long time there comes a point in time when you realize at least if you have any sort of a conscience and any sort of a mind of your own that you realize that following orders isn't any sort of an excuse doors open from the meeting room. And Guess there goes the that Q&A session. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we can, we can get Zero minutes later. of Q&A, Q&A. you know this. <laughs> well, I, I mutter that under my voice. <laughs> I start to wonder. And um, all of them um, have a bit of a, a you know, interesting look on their face for the most part as they are kind of some are maybe muttering to each other and Joanna and uh, um, Eldon are kind of you know, giggling at something and she just pushed up for once <laughs> and um, uh, Halen and, uh, and addresses you all well we've uh, discussed a few things and in regards to what you were speaking of, Miss Andy. Yes, we would, in, we would in fact like to offer you all an opportunity to become chapter members. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Uh, that we have, sounds fair. Um, we can provide certain amenities and certain benefits in, in terms of provisions and supplies and of course a place to stay we ask in return your respect for our rules which are for the most part to treat anyone you interact with fairly to uphold the idea that all can be saved and to mainly believe that whatever it is that brings you together will be that much more difficult to tear you apart. There is a reason you are all here. What that destiny is, we may never know. But we can tell you that we do have the idea of where we can send you first. We have spoken. Oh. We. Yes, mission, if you'd like. Yes. <laughs> have any of you ever been to the capital? Oh. I'm, I'm guessing. <laughs> For proper reasons as he looks at Owaka. <laughs> well, he's licensed. I mean, he's got a license. Is, dra- is dragging in a bunch of uh, murderous bastards by their toes official enough? I'd say. Elden, Elden kind of just goes, oh, I'd say so. Yeah, it sounds, it sounds pretty <laughs> you right. You mean oh, the yeah. capital, like the capital that has the biggest collection of dragon lore in, in the empire? And yes. also the home of the empress. <laughs> no, oh no! Always wanted to. Oh my like, God! Uh, well, uh, you will be, um, as she has sought out to discuss with you the matters of what you faced at the fair. Wait, 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 wait! The em- the empress, the empress is the actual cross. empress. Oh, sorry, what? Like the actual? Uh, yes. Then uh, she said the empress, empress. Catalina. Huh? Yes, yes, that she did. Oh, oh shit! This is going. To be, uh, and this is oh. like our this is our first oh. mission. mission. Oh. What she will be discussing with you is what we have discussed in our chambers. We believe, and we hope that you may be able to find out for us whether there is a connection to what you saw 
and the Unbound. Do I know what the Unbound is? Andy, have you ever told Awaka no. anything about that? No, absolutely not. And no, you don't. Mm. Andy, I need mm. you to do a deception check for your Sure, <laughs> absolutely. This is why I love having expertise in deception. Fuck. Oh, that's great. Uh, that is a 25. <laughs> Jesus. Despite everything, you're able to keep your cool at the mere mention of that. Mm-hmm. Finn, you absolutely know what is being discussed. And uh, at that point, Joanna says... We'd like to introduce you to some people who may be able to help. Uh, we have an artificer on hand who is, uh, well, um, well, you'll see. Uh, follow, follow me, if you will. <laughs> um, attends. I, oh, yes. I was just here to work the festival. I was not exactly applying to be in the guild. Well, uh, uh, matters I, of what have occurred have... I will need to send word if I'm going to be away longer. Absolutely. We will make sure. Fate, Arlen, fate. Mm. She says in Sylvan again, by the balls. <laughs> <laughs> and the envoys who oh, also speak the Sylvan fluently are just like... Right. <laughs> Andy doesn't understand and it's just like just going to assume that this is something you've discussed it's okay <laughs> and eventually you uh, end up uh, you know a few winding halls left and right um, and you start to hear a loud clanging and um, gears and steam coming out of this uh, one room Joanna turns to you uh, before we enter just um mind your head. And she looks at you especially, <laughs> Arlen. <laughs> Get a bit cramped. And no one you right. don't have anything that's magnetized on you at all, do you? <laughs> hmm? Hold As in metal? Yes. I open up the Serape <laughs> and reveal all of the bullets and knife and guns. <laughs> He's got a license. Mm. Maring will open her skirt and the just nothing but chains on her pants. <laughs> she just opens the and... door a bit. Kobe, uh. Kobe, could you mind uh, just uh, just t- turning on that switch, please? And you hear an angry, small voice. Just, I'll do it when I'm damn well ready. <laughs> oh. And nice. then you just hear. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> it was quicker than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I, I gently start rubbing the uh, all the piercings that I have along yeah. my face and everything. Yeah. My Ears. No. Just... Uh, I'm gonna let uh, I'm gonna let someone else go in first just to make sure. He opens Ireland the door. goes. <laughs> watch, watch your head, dear. Watch your Luna will follow. As as like... everybody goes in, I kind of hang back and I look at um um. Oh crap! What my brain is farting. The, 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 the owner of the bar, who's also in the guild, Elden. 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 Sorry, my brain was like, <laughs> "You did think I've?" I kind of lean back and I did like, El- I like nudge Elden, and I go, "There's a nice rifle you had out there." Ah, oh, you notice. <laughs> after, we're do- after we're done, after we're done in here, privately. Yeah, make sure yeah. I hook you up with the good stuff. Awesome. <laughs> and I uh, walk oh, in. Uh, also, as far as Kobe goes. Um, it's a little temperamental. Me and him have a disagreement in terms of weaponry. So, is he a dwarf? Out of it. No, he's a gnome. Oh, that explains everything. And I walk in. <laughs> uh, and you all see as you go in one by one, just as it is described. There are moving parts to machines everywhere. There are tools scattered about on different tinkering tables. It is a mess, but it is absolutely the room of a person who is constantly working as Co- uh, Kobe Hobblesmith, the resident artificer, 
walks in. He's got cap, a, a um, like a, I forgot what those things are, but like a jeweler's eye. Uh, as he's looking at like a, a small um, shard of uh, like, like uh, this cool little bit of like glowing glass, and he's tinkering away uh, as he places it into uh, this bit of a device. He's got overall. Arlen just looks over top of him at what he's working on. <laughs> yeah, and you see he's just like, he's got some sort of large device. It, it's so unidentifiable. It just looks like a bunch of pieces clang together, and it's not quite, like, moving, so eventually he just takes a wrench out <laughs> and just hits it. <laughs> now that didn't work. <laughs> so much. What are all of you? <laughs> <laughs> Bonjour. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> We're new. I can tell. <laughs> and uh, Joanna's like, be nice for once. Be nice. I will. I will. I will. No, no, no. Scooter, scooter. I'm assuming they want supplies and such. Supply. Just pu- supplies. Suppl- oh. Supplies. Supplies. Don't get, don't get too excited. It's just some things that help out for, you know... Okay, which one of you, um, uh, who does magic? Who, who Who's a spellcaster here? Mm-hmm. Okay. She raises her tail. Who, who, who amongst you needs uh, components? Mm. Uh, well, I mean, it d- depends on what I'm doing. Uh, mm-hmm. Not generally. I'm going do to you assume have... you do because you don't know if you do. And he starts going into a closet and just like tinkers with little... Bing. <laughs> just uh, things flying out of the way. And he pulls out um this um this belt that has all these different pockets on them. And it is he he uh, hands it to uh, which who who um, uh, is it a verbal thing of uh, somatic is it a, a material what uh, what uh, what are we looking at here? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <laughs> all of them, but I, I generally use this. All right, this, this is for you. And he I, hands uh, you the belt. <laughs> <laughs> Wear it, wear it, put it on. Give it a try, uh, give it a try. Uh, God, okay. Maybe a try on party. Uh, uh, sure, I put as on soon as the you belt. put it on, and it just fits perfectly. That's odd. No, means it works. <laughs> uh, so, this is a, a supply uh, belt, as it were. Um, If you are in need of any components for spells that, uh, you know... Uh, I feel like you're more of the vocalist type. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was trying to, uh, yes, th- this shows her lie. It, mm. It's kind of how I cast generally. Well, you'll find that um, in the, uh, towards the left side of those pockets, uh, and when you open them up, there are um, lyre strings, there oh. are a couple of picks, and um, there's even a capo. <laughs> A capo for a lot. I think you've gotten me confused with a loot, but um, all right. I guess, oh, okay. Fine. Whatever it is, you just, then give it back. You don't <laughs> want it. No, I, I mean, no. I, I mean, I, I wouldn't want to be without my capo for my liar. I'm I not a musician. What do I? I'm, I'm a <laughs> I couldn't tell. No, 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 no. Your expertise is astounding, actually. I have I have been able to craft the uh, elements of a haversack into a small uh, smaller form of component belt. So if any of you, he's looking at you, Andy, who may need it, uh, of- you f- feel free to share. So this way, you never have to worry about having to go to a store to buy the certain supplies that you may need. Although it's not as uh, limitless as it is, it's just more of a like a. a, a, a Quick, quick, kind of like, you know, ooh, I need this. Mm, I've got it. You're talking like a bag of holding because I've been looking for one of those for a while. I've been hearing about those. They're just little. Yes, yes, it's it's more of like the tiny uh, haversack pockets. Uh, uh, Mm. I haven't thought of a name for it yet, but, uh, you know, the uh, the Mm. Kobe holder seems to be... Andy, Andy, why don't you name it? No, no, no. That's not her job. <laughs> She's so uh, good at it. No, I mean, I, I wouldn't dare step on the toes of the illustrious Kobe Hobblesmith. Uh, what's here on the, on the right? Illustrious. 
Mm. Yes. Is that so, I so could I um hold things that are not spell components in here? Like, if we were to need some sort of storage. I never thought of that. I'll or say it yes. Merely limited to okay. Tiny things, like, though. Tiny, it's tiny. Small things. thing. Well, like small I mean. Pebbles. Andy, could, tiny could rocks. Have, but, could, but this capo was. But this capo, when she pulls the capo out. Uh, this and is she, larger she than a small. grabs it right back. But well, you don't need it. But no, it's no, larger. I'm just that. saying it's larger than a. Uh, no, give it back because I'm. I'm maybe I'll dabble. On anyway, the or what something. I also have here oh, is just. No. Uh, he goes and he pulls out basically a, um, uh, like a satchel, uh, and like a messenger bag. And, and you hear it like clink, 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 inside. And just a, 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 a bit. Be very careful with this. Um, who amongst you is, um, well, let's face it, the healer? Just, ah! Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> That's it. Merci. He looks inside, smells uh, it. It's actually quite refreshing in some ways. Uh, there, are, There's a mix of odors that come through. Some you're used to with uh, potion making that you have done, uh, and um, also kind of like like a like a bit of a potpourri, as it were. Mm -hmm. uh, and and uh, it, it, he's uh, that is uh, basically if um, you're uh, um, mixing things to uh, because healing potions, as it were, uh, then, then they're quite as a. It, easy to come across, and while we do have a, a, a supply of them, we have to make sure that those are used for emergency purposes or for a, a special um, assignments uh, that you are going to need to go on. Uh, by the way, I, I completely forgot to introduce myself. Uh, or did I do that already? You did that. Uh, we did not. I'm Alvin. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm uh, Colby uh, <laughs> Hobblesmith. <laughs> the illustrious, I hear. Oh, I like that. <laughs> God, <laughs> so cool all of a sudden. we're inflating this man's ego. <laughs> um, at, well, I'm Luna. Ah, oh, very nice to be. Oh, my my respects to uh, to the order. <laughs> oh no, no, no need. Oh, Bearing. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Owaka. He's a lot of fun. <laughs> and Finn. Andy. Hold that pen. <laughs> Can I have that capo? Sure. Please don't interrupt. It's quite rude. <laughs> <laughs> um, Miss uh, Maring. Uh. Are you? I, I... I know this may be, seem rude. Are yeah. you, uh, are you from the Feywild? Uh, <laughs> uh, guilty. <laughs> uh, well, I, for, yes, my people are. I don't know if I am, but I'm, well, I guess I probably I have been trying, and he runs over to, like, a book of, like, papers and plans and just... <laughs> I have been uh, trying to edit. They all look like star chart maps of sorts of just different like planner um, convergences. I have been trying to find a gateway path that, uh, uh, directly from uh, uh, from uh, uh, Draconia to, uh, uh, to into the Feywild. And if, if any knowledge that you're able to pass along, I would be just oh, so privileged to be able to use some of that. Yeah, bro. Um... I am so sorry. Uh, I don't really even know where I come from. I'm an orphan. <laughs> well, we'll fix that. If, not the orphan part, but the... the, the yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some things I even I, can't do. I was like, whoa, man, you're pretty powerful. <laughs> wow. Wait, are you her father? I, I believe the term well, was illustrious. Wait, uh, right. <laughs> illustrious. Like sorry. Uh, <laughs> You two seem to... Ah, gunsmith. You're going to be talking to Elden, aren't you? <laughs> mm. hey. You got a problem with guns, friend? No, no, I don't have a problem with guns. I have a problem with him. Oh. Who is he pointing to? No, he, uh, he's talking about Elden. Oh, okay. I love he him. He still has not 
But Abel, we have this game of dragon chess going on. One and and and, and it, I I I I know he cheated at least once. <laughs> Probably, to be honest with you. See, see, I'm and sorry. you barely met him. <laughs> Not really a chess playing person, my friend. But uh, I guess that's something that's between Jackers? you two. Cards. Three dragon ante. Cards. Oh, yes. That's me. Yeah, three dragon ante. I got you. Andy, I'm Andy going to knows. Stay away Andy, from you. <laughs> Andy knows that I like to play cards. <laughs> yes. See, he does. He's uh, rather good are, at are it you, too. Are you two seeing each other or something? Uh, just, that's <laughs> no. What we Feather, feathers no. ruffle up and go. No. <laughs> that's it's all me. mushy. You, you got to do that. Bit of a policy on uh, inter-guild romances. Not uh, so. Just be careful of that sort of thing. There's oh, nothing it's happening. It's too late. Oh. Luna, no. shut the fuck up. <laughs> no. You gotta admit, that sounded like a euphemism. <laughs> what? That it doesn't share make a room. sense. <sighs> mm. Can we all just shut up for a second? Thank you. <laughs> um, so, I understand that you are the group that is going to be talking to the Empress. Yes. Apparently. Can you believe it? Ugh. <sighs> So cool. I, I'll just okay. So, um, I'm going to be uh working now, so I need you to go. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Okay. <laughs> I turn around. Thank you. And he goes right back to. I, still I don't know what this bag does. Nice. I'm going to, on my way out, I'm going to start strumming like a little tune and be like, you know what? Here's just a little bit of something to help you work. And I'm going to give him bardic inspiration for whatever he's working on. He kind of like, not to be rude, like he starts to put on earmuffs for like half a second and then hears it and he goes. Not nice. bad. <laughs> All right. That's, I'll take it. From the I, illustrious Kobe. I note, yes, yes, the, yes, very well. I, note oh, the I note the switch for the magnet that's right next to his desk, and I usher everyone with metal out of the room. Because <laughs> he is reaching kinda, for it. <laughs> I, like, slip out from um, Owaka's, like, uh, feathered grip a little bit and just kind of walk over. Uh, Kobe, real quick. Um, you said something about changing the fact that I don't know anything about the Feywild? Uh, what what did you mean by that? The switch. <laughs> um, you'll need to research that a little bit more. Arlen? Does it have anything to do... Do I have anything to do with dragons? I need you to know. <laughs> but... <laughs> Arlen is still hey. nose in the bag and is is <laughs> less sturdy on her feet. Then she should be in uh -oh. her tail. Hit something <laughs> off of the table. Here. Are you, are you high? <laughs> okay, I'll go. But we're no. This this conversation no. is not done. Kobe. I'm coming back. Nice for you. to meet you. <laughs> as soon as the she door, walks up, <laughs> as the door slams behind us, I go, "Fucking gnomes! God." Damn. No, let's not be general. He was an asshole. No, I rather liked him. <laughs> Even though he really he doesn't know a liar from a No, he's not, he's not a bad well, he is a liar. <sighs> I mean, is he? Is there a way to take points of uninspiration <laughs> from all the puns? <laughs> I might Probably. have to invent a rule. You are forbidden <laughs> from receiving like inspiration <laughs> for <laughs> only roll disadvantage for now. half a day. <laughs> um I need everybody to make a perception check. Oh my god, yay. <laughs> Natural 20. Uh, 10 for 15. 21. Um, 19. Um, sorry, what are we doing? Investigation? No, just perception. 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 21. Sorry. Okay, that's still not good. Negative one. <laughs> no, Arlen, so we're, high. we're still fascinated. I'm not with high. This, we're well, still fascinated with this bag, just trying to figure it out. That fur ball nip. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of it's you. It's just oregano. <laughs> the rest of you hear a very loud argument going on in that meeting room. 
I go over there. Are I we, do too. To try and listen. Are we, <laughs> yeah. are we passing by the meeting room? You would be, yes. So I hear it and I kind of like... Wait, Scooby-Doo yeah, moment. We, 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 try, yeah, <laughs> we, yeah, we definitely try to listen in. If he had ears, they'd be perking up. <laughs> you Man, have ears. They're ear. just not visible. They're, <laughs> they're holes under the feathers. Feathers. Right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, and on the other side, you hear... Facian, I understand that you are upset. But you cannot storm in here uninvited when you clearly have matters that you want to discuss. And on the other side, what you did is unnatural and unlawful. And when Pontifex finds out this entire place and everything you hold dear, you'll be gone. Cassian, I ask you to leave. Out of respect to the free. If you do not, I will be demanding that you leave as an uninvited guest. I will leave my friend. And you Back. hear the door. Back away from the door. Yeah. It opens up. You're all just kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> Arlen oh, still knows so that, in the back. So that gnome really gave us some cool stuff. You ever, I know, yeah. right? My God, Cody. Gnomes Cody, are so great. Kobe. Kobe. Kobe is great. Yeah, he's pretty uh, cool. Yeah. Lustrous. Qua- 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 yeah, Very lustrous. Qua- yes. Yeah. Finn. Yes. You clock this guy. Long blonde hair, uh, elven features, um, holding onto a staff, uh, a natural uh, wo- um, wood staff. It, uh, adorned in garments um, from the theocracy that runs over the, the Westland territories. This is Casey and White Tree, uh, a member of the theocratic council that serves under the Pontifex. You know that this cleric priest is uh, it, uh, it ministers uh, with uh, some of the highest power, and they are, you've never met them in person. But you've heard. And he is just walking right past all of you and storming out. Is he, like, do we see the doors close? He's oh, past. yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the door in the meeting room is still open. And Halen is just holding his head in his hand. He's put his put down his staff is next to it leaning onto his chair you just see a very tired individual well I'm certainly hoping that he didn't recognize me I really like she leans towards Finn again just I really don't think we should well to the group she goes I really don't think we should bother him we should just like go well I got one stop to make beforehand but uh are you getting are you getting flowers for Andy you know, I swear to, I to swear all the gods. to God, I will break every single one of your fingers. <laughs> Sorry, I, do, I need to leave the tension a bit. <sighs> I grabbed Luna again. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go it. find. I'm gonna go find Elden. It's not funny. Uh, it is for our laughing. It's not funny. All right. Stop. Are I think we together? should get some ale. Okay. So, Caroline um, just finish off, finishes off her drink. So Especially you. The rest of you, can. <laughs> do you, are you assuming you're either going to go to the kitchen or will you be venturing outside? What time of day is it? Yeah. Right now, at this point, it's uh, late afternoon, getting closer towards the evening. Well, I mean, you have to talk to Elden. Yeah. If y'all want to come along, I'm kind of interested to see what kind of stock he has. Wait, wait, are you... Are, you're inviting us. This is you what inviting else are, us. What else are you going to do? Well, uh, well, you don't know. I have a very extensive schedule. All right. Let's not overdo it, all right? <laughs> <laughs> I think the answer is 
Uh, Before we go, I'm going to uh, stop in the common room and just kind of vocalize out loud. Any chance that there's any uh, spare cloaks lying around? Uh, And um, there's a bit of a moment and you see floating from the Unseen Servant a uh, cloak. (laughs) That's what I was hoping would happen. That's awesome. (laughs) Buddy, what, 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 come on. What you doing? I grab it from him and actually stuff it into my backpack, not putting it on yet. But just... Oh, come on! We're doing a changing show! <sighs> <laughs> Alright, later, later. We are going to have to sit you down and teach you a couple of life lessons. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, uh, and I, ju- I just turn and say, a handful of the kids get a kick out of seeing somebody in uniform walking through. <laughs> ah. So you're all uh, following a walker. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, mm-hmm. Um, I need everyone to do a uh, since we're kind of you don't know this place at all. <laughs> oh, um, no. <laughs> I, I would like to say you do a survival oh for, for the matter of tracking down and trying to figure out where this. Oh lives. no! <laughs> well, here we go. That's a well, nine. <laughs> Twelve. Mm. You know, you guys yeah. speak of Scooby Doo moments before. Ten. <laughs> <laughs> I, Ten. I, ro- I rolled a six and I got a fi- so I get five. <laughs> Luna, what did wow. You do? Uh, four, uh, 13, sorry. Okay. okay. Thank God. So, Luna and Andy, um, you like are kind of like. No, no, no! I don't think it's. I don't think it's this way. <laughs> it's, it's just Those trying friggin to guide. Wonder Twins over here. <laughs> like you well, really want us two to be the ones to know. <laughs> the rest of you are just yeah, lies. Luna, aren't you from here? <laughs> <laughs> no, not in the guild house. From the monastery. I'm just kind of sniffing the air to see if I find the general smell of gunpowder, and I'm trying to head in that direction. <laughs> Uh, no, 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 we got it. We got check. it. Oh, we're here. Yeah. Just for we the can do it. Part. Actually, would that be nature? No, no, no. Just investigation. Yeah. Investigation? Yeah. All of us? No, just, just oh. all of us. <sighs> That's an 11. <laughs> I, I would say with advantage because you know what gunpowder smells like. Okay. Uh, That is a... What do I have? Zero. I should know that. That's 13. <laughs> okay. It takes a bit. <laughs> but eventually you guys are able to follow to the outdoor shooting range uh, where there is a kind of, of like the outside. large <laughs> shed um, there where the gunpowder smell is absolutely coming from. Uh, El- Elden <sighs> is uh, just kind of leaning back uh, against the shed, just takes out a pocket watch. Uh, quicker than I thought, to be honest. <laughs> oh, I miss that smell. Uh. <laughs> well, I've got some things, none of them ready yet. But, uh, oh, wait. Uh, did, um. Cobble. Hobby. He told me about your, um. Anything. Your standing argument. I didn't cheat. It's a bit right? childish. I had a fair move. It was absolutely a legal move. A legal move. Elden, you're my friend. Trust me, my friend. I've played cards against gnomes. I know exactly how crotchety they can get. <laughs> Listen, you keep... Uh, all right, well... I'll... It's not... It, it, trust me. When you get near inventions, it gets kind of a... Mm, like... <laughs> he gave me shit for intolerance. <laughs> Right? You both need some work. It's not intolerant. It's just a shared life experience. <laughs> That's what they all say. Uh, all right. So you're already sounding like a team because you're at each other's throats. <laughs> so I'm going to say that it's, um, in terms of what I'm working on, um, something along the line of explosive uh, materials, um, <laughs> Maybe some, uh, some more, um, telescopic, uh, accoutrements. You, you have <laughs> my attention, and I pull the long rifle out. Mm-hmm. See, this is what I'm talking about. Now, I've worked with, um, I've worked with the military, I've worked with, uh, different, um, 
special ops, as it were. Um, not only guild business, but, you know, I have tried to uh, let them understand. And he realizes he's only talking to you. No, I don't mean to be rude, but um, we want- have any of you ever, other than uh, a friend here, held a fire on? We, no. No. I got a bow. Wait. Shot? No. You? I, can... <laughs> I point I... at Luna. <laughs> I've, I've held one. I mean, no I shot. think I can make my arm fire. It's gonna yeah, go I... a general no on I everyone else. I also breathe fire, so. I'm that. trying to figure out how to do that. I mean, I can, make, I can make fire. Right. But no, it, not, well, not a, not a, a if gun. If you don't no. mind, don't breathe fire around those barrels. <laughs> Right. Yeah, that, that's that is a general bad. idea. <laughs> I'm that smart, that okay? Uh, uh, all right, it's a bit of advice. Anyway, uh, so I'm just saying I'm working on a few things. I think they could be really helpful. Um, I do have morals, and I do have respect <laughs> for people who use these things properly. He does. Now, from what I understand. Or a bounty hunter. Yeah. I'm going to tell you right now, mate. You can think you can bet all about that. Because you're in a whole new world. Things you've never seen before. Things you've never imagined you could see before. These are all going to come to pass. And you're going to be very lucky if that thing fires straight and true in your hands. Well, judging by my count, last I checked, Fire's pretty straight. Good. But what we're dealing with, you ask me. Pretty fucked up. Elden. Well, well Elden, my, from, shut up. From from our from my observations in the middle of that fracas, uh, it seems that they take bullets just as much as any other man. So that's and spe- good. And speaking of which. You don't mind talking shop, and I like reach into the bag that I have on my back, and I pull out a notebook that is wrapped and bulging, and it has like paper sticking out of it. And I undo the the strap, and I open it, and it has like folds that fall out of it. And you see scribbled out schematics of different guns and different Eyes ideas. Open up wide. Now some of these are kind of old ideas, but I. I've been looking to make improvements to my arsenal, and if you don't mind, I'd uh, like to show them to you. Can I borrow that? Luna's gonna like lean over to Andy and be like, "He has a journal. He journals." <laughs> I think it's I think it's mostly like gun stuff, though. Mostly. Or don't they? I, although I try to look and see if it says like "Dear Diary" or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I like note them all, looking. I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> So anyway, I lay the journal out and I go, there are three things that I, there are four things actually that I kind of want to point out to you. One, I'll point out to you later when uh, the looky-loos aren't looking in. (laughs) No offense, y'all. But I got this thing and I, and I turn to a page that shows like a, an end of the rifle that has like a screw on it and it has like vents coming out of the side and it looks like it screws into the end of a barrel and I'm like, See, this thing, and I take off the one-winged angel, packs a fucking punch that it has for years. The problem is, I can't vent it worth a shit. So the gas from the cartridge heats up the barrel to a point that I have to wait about 30 seconds after firing it before I can fire it or even load it again. Because if I load a hot a hot bullet into this chamber, it'll explode. I learned that the hard way. Problem. Yeah. This thing... Let's see what I can do with that, that though. This thing... I have think it it can vent the gas out quicker, which will allow me to fire in succession on this weapon. And it's it's this is my this is my fight engine basically. Uh, well, here's the thing. You let me look at that, and I'll see what I can do. I'll be able okay. to think of a few ideas, and then eventually you and I can converse and talk a, talk a little bit more shop. Awesome. But then I, I slide over. Do you have something for you? Um, let me see that bandolier. I take off both. I kind of. I, I actually hold on a sec. I take off both of them, and the one that's my belt that has the smaller 
pistol bullets and the larger one that goes over my shoulder, which has the rifle bullets. Look at this leather. Did, did you craft this yourself? So, sir, all these weapons are by my hands. And everything I'm wearing. Oh, well, I'm going to trade you. And he puts this, he puts it away. Um, he said, don't worry, you'll get the bullets back. And he goes mm-hmm. into a trunk. He pulls out this vest. And on the vest are a couple of gears and two bandoliers that go across each other um, with one belt, uh, also with uh, bullet pockets, basically. And he goes, and you see on the back of it, like a, a bit of a motor. And he goes, and he just, check this out. He turns the front dial on it and you see crisscross the bullets go from kind of like a empty pocket to fully loaded. Oh. Huh. Owaka's feathers go like. <laughs> <laughs> this is for quick recharges, uh, for, uh, quick reloads. Fucking A. Yeah, the only problem is uh, I haven't quite worked on the pressure valves a bit, so I'm going to need a little bit more time. But no problem. Give me a day, give me a day or two, and it's yours. <laughs> Brother, you got yourself a deal. Excellent. Um, a question about that, though. I saw mm-hmm. the, the gauges for the two kind that I have. Could there be a third kind of ammo that can be loaded into that? Like, I guess we'll have to cross that bridge when we get to it. I haven't quite figured it out. There's one of these uh, guns I want to show you. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of special. The ideas that I got. Um, you mate, and he looks at you, Finn. You, um, hmm? you're mostly a swordsman, right? That's your kind? Yeah, I'd say so. What's a, how is it going with, um, carrying that thing around? I mean, gets a little cumbersome from time to time, but, I mean, it's the nature of a great sword, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Bet you have never seen one of these, though. And he goes into the, the case again, and it pulls out a hilt but it's just a hilt. And there is an empty slot in the side. He goes, oh, you might want to move out of the way. And he goes forward, flicks his wrist forward, and the blade of a greatsword comes out fully. And there's this cool little hum to it. Nice, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Cool. This is the only thing that me and... Um, my uh, gnome friend have been able to figure out how to work on together. <laughs> it's uh, got that bit of a pocket energy inside the hilt. That's where the blade can be stored. Okay. Now, uh, the thing is, um, it has a couple of charges on it. So, um, I'm still, still trying to figure out a little bit more on how to make it a bit more uh, extended. Uh, but um, this is uh, it's pretty pretty good. Pretty good on what is working, uh, what I'm working on. So again, uh, just what? give me a little bit of time. Make, make sure it works. For you. What happens when the charges are done, though? Well, that's the problem. The blade falls off. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a a minor um, problem. Yeah, a little yeah. faulty in the. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Again, still still trying my best. M- might I recommend, uh, you know, burying the hatch between the two of you? Maybe uh, get the group mind going again on it. If I must. 